What's up everyone, I'm Silvio Perez. I'm the founder of Ad Conversion. We teach B2B marketers how to scale paid ads for free with advertising courses taught by the world's best practitioners. And in this quick tutorial, I wanna teach you the top nine meta ad retargeting segments you should be leveraging if you wanna scale retargeting on Facebook and Instagram. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now you can see here all top nine segments are listed in this article. If you actually want access to this article, then check out the description box down below. This video and this article is part of a multi-step series on how to build a multi-channel B2B retargeting strategy. So just walking through it really quickly, we've got all these nine segments listed and you're gonna notice that there is a time frame per segment. So really the goal here is we wanna create all of these different segments by these individual time frames. So all website visitors in 30 days, 90 days, 180 days. If you have the available reach and you can do this, the advantage is not all segments will perform equally. And by breaking it out based on cohort of time like this, you can then create personalized content and messaging based on each time frame of when the person last interacted with your brand. And because you're using multiple segments within the same campaign, you're not just relying on all website visitors or just all Facebook page visitors, you're using all of them together as a team. So all of them as like an or statement. So all website visitors, or all Facebook page visitors, so on and so forth. So it's not restricting your size overall. It's allowing you to scale your overall retargeting size. So a couple of the segments just going through it is all website visitors, anyone that's went to your site, all Facebook page visitors, anyone that's interacted with your Facebook page, all Instagram account visits, all past event attendees. So if you've ran any Facebook events, that becomes an available audience. All lead gen form opens and submits is another good one all 25 to 95% video viewers. So if you're running a lot of video ads, this is a really big opportunity to retarget. The reason it's 95% and not 100% is it's just a Facebook thing. They don't let us, <laughs> for whatever reason, they don't let us do 100, it's just up to 95. And then all pricing, demo, trial, and case study bouncers, and then all meeting no-shows. So this is a very specific campaign, a spinoff campaign, where you're gonna just show folks, almost think of it as like an abandoned cart campaign for e-commerce but instead for retargeting. And you're gonna show ads to these people based on the intent pages they visited, trying to get them back to finish their transaction. And then last but not least is all closed loss opportunities. So this is any contacts from a lost deal. If you're a product led company, instead of all closed loss opportunities, it can be all past trial users, right? Or inactive trial users, something like this. Essentially, let me walk you through this in the ads manager to put it all together to show you how you would build this. So when you log in into your Facebook ads manager, or I'm sorry, meta ads manager, you're gonna come here to all tools and then you click audiences and we're gonna wanna create custom audiences. So all of these different sources are sources that we can use for retargeting. So for remarketing, let's say website visits, we're gonna click the website visit segment. We're gonna choose the retention period. So again, 30, 90, 180. And then we're gonna name it. I always like to put remarketing in brackets and then the name of the segment and then the time frame in a parentheses like this, that's my naming convention. Feel free to take it if it, it finds value for you. But this allows me to just search REM in the audience section when I'm building my campaign and then all of my retargeting segments pop up. That's pretty much it. We would then create it. I would redo it and then I would put 90 days. Then I would put it as 90, create it, do it again for 180. Again, assuming I can actually hit on all these time frames. If worst case, you're a brand new brand like us at Conversion, we're a newer brand, we don't have a massive retargeting list, we're probably just gonna start with 90 days and that's it. And then we'll just, we'll focus everything on 90 days to start. And then over time, as we get more visibility, we can start to create other timeframes. And then I would create this again. And then I would repeat this process for all of the other segments that I listed in the article. For example, video views, I would do the same thing remarketing, let's just say 25% video views, 30 days. And then I would choose my attention period. I would choose the available content that I want to retarget off of the video completions and then I'll create it and then so on and so forth. So I hope that makes sense. Don't make it more complicated than that. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. But again, if you want access to this article where we go more into detail on all of the things that go around to put this together, then definitely check it out in the description below. And then also check out the other videos in this playlist referencing this blueprint as well. I'll see you in the next one.